So for those of you that attended the earlier presentation from Microchip, you heard about the balance of having a good product that can be developed fast or cost effectively and the different trade-offs you have to make. I'm gonna pick up where that left off and kind of take you through the journey on how to optimize all three of those aspects. So I wanna introduce you to the Acme Freezer Company. They make freezers. They make cold storage, they work on compressors, they make metal, and now they need to go off and they need to solve a problem for their customers. They need to go off and they need to create a sensor to help prevent the food from their clients from being damaged because the door doesn't close or the kitchen staff isn't maintaining the proper temperature, which then on a surprise inspection could get them a nice big fine to pay for. So they've discussed it, they're brainstorming, they wanna go off and do a wireless implementation of a sensor, they wanna use the LoRaWAN network. <clears throat> they're all excited, they got great ideas, they're brainstorming, lots of espresso is moving through their system right now, 100% energy, and then they go meet the boss. And we've always run into this situation where the boss or somebody can just really slow down your ideas. It really feels like that energy got taken out of your system. The bosses are, they're, they're concerned about the business. They wanna protect their business. They wanna make sure that they're gonna be successful and they have a tremendous amount of, of challenges and pressures. And, you know, they need to understand that they have the right resources to go develop with it. You know, is the original concept really gonna pay off? Security is always very scary to people when they first hear about it. RF design can sometimes be a little bit scary to people as well. You gotta deal with a lot of government paperwork and certifications, and man, no one ever wants to have to keep redoing their design completely. So a lot of times, you know, these, we run into these situations in a business, and you look at just a standard block diagram. You're on the whiteboard, you draw out your block diagram, very straightforward. Uh, implementation here. So what I want to do is I want to start with the radio and the microcontroller. This has the biggest impact on some of the development efforts up front as well as the long-term maintenance costs when you look at it just from the electronics perspective. Obviously a large system has lots of challenges in whether you're trying to measure soil sensors or other factors. But from the electronics standpoint, the biggest impact is gonna be you know, the maturity of the software. How ready is it? How easy is it to get? How can you get help on it? Do you have a small enough sensor design to begin with? You don't have to go back and redo that design later on. So I'd like to introduce the product that we just launched a few months ago. It's the SAM R34 and the SAM R35. They're basically the same product. One has USB, one does not. And this is really our effort to take our microcontroller and our wireless expertise and bring them together to create a very innovative solution that incredibly low power. This is based on our proven uh, SAM L21 microcontroller technology. We put a lot of innovation into the design to get uh, a very low power device, being able to sleep for long periods of time, well under or under 800 nanoamps of sleep current. You can also have some low power modes where you're retaining the, the RAM memory. Um, and it also gives a very generous supply of, of flash memory. Some of the biggest challenges today is software. And if you ask a software engineer how big is the software, they ask you how big is the flash? How big is my storage? And they usually always seem to end up <laughs> and be e equal to each other. So we want to give plenty of room because there's a lot of innovation that you can create around that. <clears throat> and also size is, is, is very key in many of the applications that we've, we've worked with our customers on and to have a six by six uh, package device is, is um, really enabling a lot of uh, small form factors. You can add the entire matching circuit and you can add a secure element and our friends at Mbit have produced a 10 and a half by 10 and a half or 11 and a half by 11 and a half module where it gives you great density and a great solution. But then there's the RF piece. In RF design, can sometimes be a bit of a mystery, it can be sometimes a bit of a challenge. And in the RF design, um, you gotta have a certain degree of expertise. And in all of our efforts, in all of our wireless businesses at Microchip, 
what we see is that the RF design is one of the top support items where we need to spend most of our energy uh, helping customers because of a, smile, uh, a need to customize or a need to uh, create a, a different implementation for their application. A lot of expertise is needed, specific tuning. Uh, it's a very different set of test equipment and it's a very different set of manufacturing test equipment. So we wanted to make that easy. And Microchip has made a big change after getting all the feedback from the community. We have used to only release modules, certified modules, and with a simple, a simple front end, you required a separate host controller. Microchip has now, for the first time in its history, released a wireless device with the intelligence of a microcontroller built in and immediately offering the complete resources for RF chip down design. No more absolute requirement of a module. We now empower you to be able to put the size in the space. And online now, you can see that we have a tremendous amount of design resources, design files, <clears throat> information on antenna patterns, um, layout guides, <clears throat> and testing equipment. So <clears throat> you can go out and download this today and start to evaluate it yourself. And in addition to that, <clears throat> we can enable to you, but we don't want anyone to shoot themselves in the foot. So we put, uh, we looked internal to our company and we saw that our, our Ethernet team had a tremendous amount of history and very good success with doing design reviews where you can submit these online. So we've, in, we've expanded that service to now have our RF engineering team and our hardware engineering team for the wireless business monitoring and, and actively doing reviews on customer design. So if you have a design, you'd like to have someone take a look at it, give your boss a little peace of mind, give yourself some, some comfort, try to save the cost of a, a PCB spin, we are now providing uh, this solution in the wireless space as well. So all you have to do is create an account and you can submit your design and we'll <clears throat> we will uh, review it and get back to you. Okay, on the software side, microchip is, is a little bit of a different approach. We believe in having a very complete solution and being able to provide a one <clears throat> single point of integration. So a lot of times when you look at the SIP and you say there's a microcontroller and a wireless, everyone thinks that that's the integration. And, and really, that's just the beginning of the integration. We want to have a, a completely integrated development experience. We want you to have a journey through um, prototypes to rapid prototyping to your first prototypes of a you know actual application and out the door. So Microchip has developed its own LoRaWAN software stack. We maintain the software stack, and we will support the software stack. Our engineers in the field, our engineers in the factory, and our uh, online support. Um, we provide lots of code examples and lots of reference material, so you can be very self-sufficient on your own. Uh, we have the 102 or 1.0.2 Class A and Class C support in place. Uh, certification should be done probably in the March timeframe. And um, we're also a departure for Microchip is that we've now added the software customization straight into the, uh, the development environment. So in our past products um, that have been shipping for the last couple of years, these were uh, devices that were, you had to buy a part number for that region with that channelization. And now we give you the ability to have a single design that you can sell globally. In terms of scaling made easy, uh, obviously you want to innovate, you want to differentiate. Every application has some very different needs. We've um, <clears throat> been able to expand the portfolio of wireless to provide resources for you to create a lower design that can have the secure element that we'll talk about a little bit later. And the integration with, with the things industries is, is fantastic. We've taken our Bluetooth family and we've selected our lowest power B, um, Bluetooth product. You can quickly add that in. We have certified modules. You can do chip down. You have software for that. And our, our very popular Wink uh, Wi-Fi family, you can easily add uh, this to your, your design if you want to add a Wi-Fi solution with certified modules and drivers or if you also want to do your chip down design. So a lot of scaling that comes into this uh, development environment goes just beyond the LoRa space. We give you the freedom to innovate. We, we, want, we want you to be very comfortable in your design. We have 64, 128K, and 256K products. 
The 64K is really for the lower up peer to peer, and the 128 and the 256 is for uh, standard lower WAN applications. So you can put all the different software builds in, you get a sense for this uh, type of scalability. And Microchip is, is here to help if, if you have questions. We have a team of engineers uh, sitting out in the booth uh, today. If you uh, wanted to bring any projects by or if you attended one of the six workshops uh, that we were running. So to get yourself started, we have a development board. And this development board is just your standard development board. Um, but what we've done is we've actually prototyped and completely certified the reference circuit. So if you copy our circuit and you copy our layout and you implement the exact same one, your certification exposure is incredibly low. We've had a lot of customers be very successful with this in a very short period of time um, because we've done all the heavy lifting <clears throat> in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the early days of development to get the right tuning and optimization for IC, FCC, and CE uh, certifications. And we'll be expanding this, obviously, over time. Um, in many of our Wi-Fi and Blue BLE portfolios, we do seven or nine uh, certification, um, areas of certification. And uh, with one, actually with one of our Wi-Fi chips, we have well over 70 countries uh, certified. So over time, you'll see more and more begin to expand there. For those of you that uh, attended Xavier's uh, presentation on the secure element, I'm not gonna repeat it. It's, it's super easy to use. If you can buy something on the internet and you can upload a file to TTI servers, that's the expertise you need to be able to implement this in manufacturing and implement this in your, uh, your end design. So uh, we're really excited about this. It's been a great collaboration with the Things Network, Things Industries on this. Um, we found some really, really good use cases and feedback during the week, and uh, we really encourage you to, to take a look at this and, and to uh, begin to sample it. The easiest way to do that, you can buy a, a, an extension board, you can plug it in, um, and you can see here on the website today, we do have a, an add-on package for the microchip LoRaWAN software that you can <clears throat> merge in. And then we will have that in an integrated distribution in the March-April timeframe of this year, right about when we certify uh, 102. So uh, that'll all be integrated into the uh, ASF uh, framework, and it's completely available today and downloadable uh, on, the, on our website. So I just want to point out that, you know, having a complex ecosystem is sort of a double-edged sword. It's good to have lots of options. It's good to build a mix and match. We love that. We love that type of uh, community and aspect. But we also see that the challenges with that. And we're very often, as we're helping our, our customers to go through their design and to go through their journey, there can be some challenges there. And we can see a lot of challenges um, with not my problem, I'm too busy, please, please go talk to your software provider, please go talk to your tools vendor. That must be a PCB issue, please go talk to them. And that can be a very difficult position. It can really put you in a, in a tight situation where <clears throat> you're caught between nobody wants to give support or maybe you're, the wrong support's being made available. So with that, we want to get to market. We want, to go to, we want your design to get to market. We want to be there to help you. And Microchip has really created this kind of integrated inv development environment that includes support. We have the support mechanisms on a global basis, on an online basis, on a community basis, to be able to help you get your designs into production. So we have a very small form factor, complete, uh, SAM R34 and SAM R35 product offering. We have a, an infrastructure where if you need software help, you need hardware help, and you need RF design help, you can contact one person and they'll get the right expert at the company you pulled in. And that's our value proposition, that's our message to you as a community, and this is what Microchip has built its, itself up over the last 25 years is the ability to deliver this type of a service to customers, small, medium, and big as well. So um, with that, uh, we, we've worked really hard to have a complete self-sufficient set of documentation and resources available there for you. Uh, we have a lot of free services, as I showed, that you can uh, provide and utilize and benefit from. And we also have a lot of other very interesting sensors and analog and wireless technology that you can 
uh, add to your design to hit the types of application needs that everyone in here has that's unique to them. Um, we're a one-stop shop. So at the end of the day, we want everyone to be happy, to be excited. We don't want people to have great ideas and they end up flaming out because they got stuck on a perception or it got stuck somewhere in the development process and they were left alone. So our goal is to be here to work with you, to develop with you, and to enable you to have that freedom to innovate. And then lastly, if you're looking for, uh, for us, we have a, a big contingency of people out in, near the microchip booth. I think many of you have probably stopped by already. Um, we've also been running lots of workshops. <clears throat> so, um, but we do have engineers here. We do have uh, all ranges of, of, of skill sets. We'd love to have those conversations with you. And that is it for me today. I appreciate your time and uh, look forward to coming back again next year. Thank <laughs> you.